Hey guys, what's up? Another review, this time Batwoman number 7. Now, Batwoman was kind of one of the big breakout hits of the New 52. And I didn't get on it until kind of late, and I've kind of played catch up with it, but I have enjoyed it. Uh, this issue, however, this issue and the last issue have been very weird because creative team kind of, not really switch up, but added on to it. J.H. Williams not doing the art on this book in the last one. And they're told in a very odd way where they're going uh, back and forth between the different characters and back and forth in time periods. Uh, not time period sounds weird. Back and forth between previous weeks and stuff. Uh, this book has gotten some, not negative reviews, but for a book that used to get like high praise across the board, it's definitely gone down in most reviewers' minds. I, I however, I did like this book. Uh, it's... And that's the whole biggest problem because it goes back and forth from storylines. Uh, it feels like a lot happened, but at the same time, not really a lot. Really didn't happen. You get a lot of exposition, a lot of explaining of what's going on, but in the overall story arc, not a ton happens. Like in the main Batwoman stuff, she fights, which is a cool fight scene at the beginning, and you you learn a little bit more about what's going on behind the scenes, but not a lot actually progresses. And the art, even though it's still really great art, it's not anything compared to J.H. Williams in the first uh, five issues. His art was breathtaking and amazing. And some of this in this book and the last one capture it, but not. it's still not as great as it was. I would give this book a solid 7 out of 10, because it is a good book, and it is enjoyable, and you learn a lot, but it's just not... It's not breathtaking. It doesn't blow you away. It's not amazing. It's just a good read. And if you like the story, it's good. But at the same time, if you're not used to Batwoman, you may not know what the hell is going on because it's so many characters, so much going on. And like I said, there's so much going on, but at the same time, not a lot's really progressing. It's still like, overall, the main story arc doesn't move along very much. Like I said, 7 out of 10. I enjoyed it. Uh, there's really not a ton to say about it because... I know I keep repeating myself, and sorry for that, but just not a ton happens in this issue. It's If you like Batwoman, you'll enjoy it. If, uh, so I would recommend it for those who have been enjoying Batwoman. Anyone else, you, can, you don't really have to get this one. Yeah, 7 out of 10. I'll see you guys in another review.